producers have no financial interest to disclose. How can the 3D printers can help us? Mm. I can make a ring. I think it's a ring is a good idea. It's a good idea. Okay. Jarvis, start please. Wake up please. Let's make a ring now. Just to make sure, Dr. Canabrava, do you want me to produce an iris extension ring for small pupil with a 3D printer? Yes, Jarvis, that's it. Good idea, Dr. Canabrava. The 3D printer is the future of the medicine. Maybe we can begin a new era in ophthalmologic devices. Jarvis, first! Can you explain me kind of material can I use in this ring? Dr. Canabrava, we can use a VisiJet. Okay. This is a biocompatible material okay. and the resistance good. is good to produce the device. Understood. Number one, please. Dr. Canabrava, first, we may try this model. It has a diameter about 6.5 mm and a height of 1.2 mm. Mm. I don't like this one, Jarvis. I don't like. Yes, you are right, Dr. Canabrava. You can see from this first model at the video simulation how it is not possible to insert the ring and the eye. Dr. Canabrava, how about rotating the parts of the ring and make like a gear? With this idea, I can produce a ring that has a 0.6 mm high and maintaining a diameter of 6.5 mm. Let's start the test, please. Dr. Canabrava, at this moment I'm printing the ring and after I will start the tests in the pig's eye. The test in the pig's eye was perfect. Congratulations! Good test, Charles. Good test in the pig's eye. Let's go to the surgery. Charles, the fly is okay. Beautiful view from Oscars in San Diego. You can explain to me the surgery. First, you use a C-ski hook or a MacPherson forceps to insert the ring in the eye. Okay. With the ring in the eye, insert one part at a time. When you finish the surgery, use a C-ski hook to remove the ring from the iris and after, use the MacPherson okay. to remove the ring from the eye. Okay, part. Oh, one more thing. See the real patient eye. Jarvis, can you hear me? I'm starting the surgery now. Take a look. It is really easy to insert in the eye. I'm using a Sinsky hook and MacPherson forceps. I'm inserting the Sinsky hook in the rings hole and inserting one part at a time. Jarvis, I'm starting a new step of the surgery. It's so stable to make a capsule rexis.
now let's make a fuck emulsification. The ring didn't touch the capsule bag and everything occurs normally. Jarvis, I'm happy. I will implant the IOL. It is easy to implant and to manipulate the IOL inside the eye with the ring. Now I'm removing the ring from the eye smoothly. Oh, a little problem Jarvis, normal for the first surgery. But I can easily fix it. Ok Jarvis, we have finished the surgery. Good job Jarvis, good job. Dr. Canabrava, take a look at the patient in the fourth post-operative day. Good job doctor, good job. Advantages Eliminates the need to make several extra paracentesis Eliminates injector Low cost Price of 5 cokes More resistant than other device Safe and sterilize in ethylene oxide with a simple box Possible complications To break inside the eye not possible to polish like manufactured devices. The 3D printers can use a lot of kinds of material like titanium, nylon and synthetics. There are uncountable possibilities to produce device to any area of ophthalmology. The idea has been launched and we don't know what is about to come. If you want to make a free test go to www.canasring.com and make an archive download and print in a 3D printer in your country.